What's up, Yarny Box Crocheters? Today we're making Ollie and Otis the Otters. They can even hold hands. If you don't already have your Ollie and Otis kit, you can head to yarnybox.com and pick up yours today. For the tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to start off the round in a purple color, but just know we're starting with the otter's head, so grab the beige yarn in your kit. In your Yarny Box kit, you'll find that the magic ring is already started for you. This is so that we can start off the project nice and easy and you don't have to worry about a complicated beginning. This is the very first round of the project. Here you'll see I'm pointing out the little V's. These are actually stitches, so you should be able to go around the circle and count six stitches or six V's. The stitches are what you're going to be working into in the next round in order to build on your project. You'll also find two stitch markers. This blue one here is marking the very first stitch of the round. That's where we're going to place the first stitch of the next round. The green stitch marker is marking the loop in which you're going to place your crochet hook to start working. You can see here that you can actually tighten and loosen this loop by pulling on the string that's attached to the ball of yarn. There are two different ways in which you can hold your crochet hook. This first way is like a knife. The second way is like a pencil. I personally find the pencil hold a little bit easier, but it's up to you. You can play around and hold your crochet hook however you'd like. Next, you're going to take the yarn that's attached to the ball of yarn and wrap it a couple times around your finger. And then I like to pinch the magic ring with my middle finger and thumb like this. Again, this is just how I like to work on my projects, but as you go along, you can play with how you wanna hold everything. So you can remove the green stitch marker and pop in your crochet hook into that loop. You're going to want to tighten the loop to make it so that it's pretty tight on the crochet hook. Don't make it so tight that you can't move the crochet hook, but you definitely don't want it to be too loose. Something like this is appropriate. The trickiest part about learning how to crochet is learning how to hold everything in your hands. I definitely recommend re-watching the beginning of this video until you get the hang of holding everything. And if you accidentally undo your magic ring, I have a tutorial linked down below of how to redo that. So let's get started on round two. We're going to start off by removing the blue stitch marker. You can pull on it a little bit and you'll find a little hole. That's exactly where we're going to be inserting our hook into to make the very first stitch of round two. So once you pop out your stitch marker, you're going to insert your hook exactly where the stitch marker was. Before we insert a hook, I just wanna make sure that you're holding your hook properly. So you wanna make sure it's parallel to your body and make sure the hook is facing downwards. That's gonna make it a lot easier to guide the yarn in and out of each stitch. So pop your hook into the stitch. Again, it looks like a V, so now you should have three little loops on your hook. Next, we are going to yarn over, which means we are grabbing the yarn with our crochet hook like this, and we are gliding the yarn through the first two little loops on our hook like so. And now we're going to do that again, so yarn over, and pull the yarn through the two loops on your hook. This is called a single crochet. This is the first stitch of the round. Our next stitch is going in the exact same stitch that we were just in. So this stitch and not this stitch. We're going in the same hole that we were just in. So insert your hook into that little V, yarn over and pull through the first two loops like so. Now you have two loops left on your hook, so yarn over and pull through those two remaining loops. What we just did is called an increase because we popped two stitches into one stitch. Now you're going to count down two stitches away from the loop or the first stitch that we made and you're going to mark it with a stitch marker. Next we're going to make another single crochet in the next available stitch. So that's gonna be this one here. Pop in your hook. There's three loops on your hook now. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. And then yarn over again and pull through those second two loops. That was one single crochet. 
Now we're going to make our second single crochet in the same exact hole. So in the same place we just were, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over again, pull through the second two loops. Again, this is called an increase because we placed two single crochets into one stitch. So now we have four new stitches, but we've only worked into two stitches from the previous round. So here I'm just pointing out with my thumb the four new stitches that we've done. Carrying on to the next stitch, we are going to make a single crochet. And now we're going to make a second single crochet in the exact same hole. Moving on to the next stitch. Again, here's your first single crochet. And here's your second single crochet in the same stitch. Again, popping your first single crochet in there and your second single crochet. And now we're moving on to the very last stitch of the round. One single crochet and two single crochets. That completes round two. So because we placed two single crochets in each of the stitches of the previous round, we now have 12 little Vs or 12 stitches in this round. So you should be able to go around and count 12 stitches. So your otter's head should be looking like this so far. And now we're gonna move on to round three. Start off the round by removing your stitch marker and we're going to make one single crochet in the next available stitch. So just one single crochet here and then we're going to pause and mark that stitch. We're going from 12 to 18 stitches in this round so we are only increasing in every other stitch. So the next stitch is where the increase is going to be. So that was single crochet and next we're doing an increase. So in the next available stitch we are popping in two single crochets. So that's one and going in for the second. And then in the next available stitch we are making one single crochet. And then the next stitch we are making an increase. And then in the next stitch, single crochet. Next stitch, increase. So just keep repeating this pattern of alternating between one single crochets and an increase until you get back to the stitch marker. So we're coming up on the last stitch here. The last stitch will be an increase. And if you didn't end the round on an increase, you may have miscounted and you may have to repeat this round over again by just undoing what you just did. You should be able to go around the circle and count 18 little Vs or 18 stitches. Moving on to round four, you can remove your stitch marker. And we are going to start the round by placing one single crochet in the next available stitch. And then mark that stitch with your stitch marker. So the next stitch is going to be a single crochet and then the stitch after that is going to be the increase. So make a single crochet in the next available stitch. And then place an increase in the next stitch, which is the third stitch of the round. So 
So single crochet, single crochet, increase. So single crochet, single crochet, and then increase. So round four, we are going from 18 stitches to 24 stitches. So just keep repeating this pattern of two single crochets and then an increase until you get back to the stitch marker. So we're coming up on the last couple stitches of the round and you should be ending your round on an increase. And you should be able to count 24 stitches in your circle now. So for round five, we can remove our stitch marker and we are going to be increasing in every fourth stitch. So first we're gonna place a single crochet and then mark that stitch. And then another single crochet, single crochet, and increase. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, increase. So just keep repeating the pattern of three single crochets and then increase until you get back to the stitch marker. This is our last round of increasing and you should end the round with 30 stitches. So now that we have done round five, we are going to weave in our end. So grab your yarn needle from your yarny box kit and then thread the tail onto the yarn needle. You can tug on that tail to make the circle close nice and tight. And next we are just going to be weaving in and out of random stitches in the bottom about six or seven times just to make sure that tail's not going to come undone and this is going to keep the magic ring closed so that your otter head doesn't fall apart. As you can see I'm just going randomly in and out of little stitches. And now the top should be nice and secure. So for the next four rounds, we are just making one single crochet in each stitch around the circle. We are going to be ending every single round for the next four rounds with 30 stitches. So here's round six. We're gonna place our first single crochet of the round and mark that stitch. And then just continue single crocheting in each one of these stitches all the way around until you get back to the stitch marker.
So we're on to round seven. You can remove your stitch marker, place your first stitch of the round, and then mark that stitch. And again, we're doing the exact same thing that we just did. We are just making a single crochet in each stitch around. We are going to be ending round seven with 30 single crochets. So we're coming up on the end of round seven. Round eight and nine are done the exact same way that we just did. Just a single crochet all the way around. I'm going to be speeding up rounds eight and nine because it's the exact same thing that we just did. Just a single crochet in every stitch around. Just don't forget to mark the first stitch of each round. And once you're on round nine, Make sure that you pause before you reach the last stitch before the stitch marker because we're going to be making a color change and I will show you what to do then. So we're just coming up on the end of round nine. So this stitch here, right before the stitch marker, we are going to make half a single crochet and then we're gonna pause. So just do half of a single crochet, leave the two loops on your hook, and now we're gonna do a color change in part two. Part two is linked down below and I'll show you how to do the rest of the otter's body there. <laughs> 